Hi, my name is Derek Griffin. I'm with ProTorqueTools.com and today I'm going to show you how to use a Williams Torque Multiplier. This particular model is a reaction bar model and the way that torque multipliers are used is they generate a significant amount of output force with a minimal amount of input force. So if you have to tighten a bolt like this to let's say a thousand foot-pounds, you can do that without a lot of effort. The way that they're used is you take a socket you put it on the output drive, you put the output drive on the bolt that you're going to tighten. This bar is only to keep this head from spinning. So you're going to rest this bar against any nearby solid surface. And it needs to be solid. It can't be something, this is really just here for purpose, uh, demonstration purposes. But you need a wall or a steel structure to keep this in place and keep it from spinning or releasing. The next thing you need to do is determine how much force you need. Uh, if this bolt needed to be tightened to 1,000 foot-pounds and the unit you were using had a 20 to 1 gear ratio, you would divide 1,000 by 20 and you'd know you need 50 foot-pounds of force. You would set 50 foot-pounds on a torque wrench or use a dial torque wrench. Once you've set that, you put this into the input drive and then as you tighten and use your torque wrench, this is going to tighten this is going to stay still and your wrench will tell you when you reach 50 foot-pounds and when that happens you know that you tighten this to 1,000 foot-pounds. The Williams uh, torque multiplier line has quite a few different sizes. It starts at 750 foot-pounds and goes all the way to 12,000 foot-pounds and with a variety of gear ratios. We have the Williams models in stock, significant wide variety of, of options. We also have reaction plate reaction models and reaction arm models if you don't have a surface nearby and need to anchor it on a nearby bowl. These are all available at ProTorqueTools.com.